Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Deborah Martin. And what are some of the use cases that people are kind of following in order to go from their current state to the cloud? You know, as customers are making that jump to a hybrid infrastructure, we see customers focusing on kind of a strategic set of use cases. We see them looking at ones such as rapid infrastructure provisioning to moving their traditional applications to the cloud to kind of power them better, to even using it for storage and their storage needs. But more and more we're also seeing customers looking at ones around how do I leverage it for uh, doing more of a hybrid infrastructure with my AWS investments and my Azure investments, and even now getting into brokering and managing across their multiple cloud environments. That's becoming a really big use case they're having to tackle. And pushing into the range of, how do I modernize innovation with developing and deploying cloud native apps? And that's just to name a few. And so how does HPE play into that? You know, we have seen customers, as they look at these use cases, trying to use them to help find that right mix of that hybrid infrastructure for their orgs. Using them to really determine what is going to meet their business needs, and they're really looking for where is that best guidance, best practices, best expertise, and so that's what we're really focusing on, is how to pull together our collective expertise across products, services, lines, um, really pulling in what is some extensive enterprise expertise as well, and pulling that all together to determine what's best for each of these use cases so they don't have to do a lot of that hard work on their own. And I think we've also done a really good job, in addition to doing that for each use case, helping to connect customers then with that right set of products and services for each use case and the flexible options they have for each use case, which is a big advantage today for customers. So if you were to take just like one of the use cases, um, what would be the, the kind of like HP involvement in that life cycle of the use case? So if you were to take one like, say our move traditional apps to cloud, we can show customers now, what are the key considerations that they should really be looking at to solve the key problem set they're trying to solve for that use case. We can also help them to understand what is the capability set that they're going to need to achieve the business outcomes that they want to target for that set. Because usually, if you're trying to solve those problems, there's a key set of outcomes you want from solving those. And then we can show them that, okay, with that in mind, here is a flexible range of options on how you can now implement that use case with those capabilities in mind. Some customers are going to want an integrated solution, some might want more of a managed solution, some want something in between that's more software-oriented or hardware-oriented, again, based on their needs. And we can recommend then what that solution set would be based on those outcomes. So it really accelerates that whole cycle from understanding what the use case is, what they should be looking for, to specifying for their specific needs so they can get it implemented very, very quickly, and of course, all the expertise along the way. Everybody wants the expertise. That's right. <laughs> all right, thank you. You're very welcome.